Okay, so now I'm going to have to start working on taking this uh, Nintendo Switch dock apart so I can start cutting it down and in half basically so it can fit inside the Nintendo. I've made a template here. I made a template of what I need to cut to make it fit inside the Super Nintendo. So I want to trace this out onto the dock and cut it up and that way uh, it will fit inside where it needs to be and then I can uh, glue it down and um, it should work better but I also have to find uh, the two spots here that I have to cut inside to use the eject button that will lift up the the uh, switch tablet as well so I'm gonna start doing working on taking apart this Nintendo switch dock and hopefully have this all um, cut up and ready to go here in a little bit. Okay, so I'm finishing up here. I'm almost done doing a couple things to wrap her up. One of them is this eject for the switch dock and switch tablet portion to eject it. Um, it's not lifting up high enough, and it's not you know it wasn't built for lifting up a switch out of here, so it has to travel farther. And the only thing that's stopping is down here. If you see, there's a ports here for screws um, this is for the board and so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out so this eject button has more travel go further down which will result in a higher lift and hopefully more travel for the switch um, tablet to pop it out of the dock because right here um, if you didn't know <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it really good but right here the when the switch docks there's a little spring mechanism here where the uh, USB-C is and with that spring right there it's got a little bit of travel so when it sits down in the dock you have to lift it up uh, about a half an inch quarter of an inch before it even uh, disconnects from this uh, USB-C uh, dock point right there so it has to travel a little higher up and you get the full disconnect that I'm looking for so I'm going to trim that piece out now and hopefully it will give me that um, extra lift that I'm looking for and then I just, you know, screw it back together. I've already routed the uh, LED over here, under, and plugged into the side there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this now. So now I have uh, shaved it down right in here. You can see, um, sorry for the horrible lighting. Um, it's shaved down there and it's giving me the travel I'm looking for all the way down to the bottom lifting it even higher from the dock so that should work very good and I am about done uh, I really like how it came out um, I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit the whole console but you get the gist of it two USBs in the front routed all the way to the uh, control here I had had to cut these USBs 
these USBs were straight USBs they weren't 90 degree angle so I had to kind of improvise and I cut down to the base and bent them up they work fine I've tested them already um, that's the only way they would fit in there allowing the space for the dock and the uh, circuit board to fit all together in the back there uh, the USB cables were a little long I had to wrap them up in the corner there but everything is out of each other's way this uh, LED light has been routed underneath the circuit board to be plugged in over here on the side here I don't know if you can see it it's out of focus a little bit let's see but it's over here in the corner plugged in and now I'm gonna put it all together and it should be fine everything's solid and glued in the right places and working properly so I'm gonna button it up now I'm gonna screw it in it's late here at night so they're not getting really good lighting so tomorrow I'm going to uh, show it completed and up on top of my entertainment center or my son's room and show you the final product but let's put it together real quick so you can see it <clears throat> so we can see it assembled so I'll go ahead and put this together oh wait quickly I almost forgot I'm gonna leave this in there the uh, switch power on and off switch that was originally in there for this uh, Super NES and I want to leave this in here because I might want to add some LEDs in the future or maybe possibly a fan it doesn't need it but I like to have it do something with this uh, power switch in the future I don't know yet but possibly an LED so I'm gonna have to screw this in there before we button everything up let me go ahead and do that now Alright, so this is the next day, and um, I waited to the next day so I can get some light and better visual of what I did. And I want to go over a couple of things here since I wasn't able to record everything that I did. I want to walk over uh, or go over a couple of the things um, that I did in this project. So here I have a. <clears throat> also, it did take me two weeks uh, longer than I thought because I was really, really sick, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, I got very sick and also I had to do a lot of stuff in my personal life as well so a lot of things was delayed in this project but it's completed and I'm gonna go over a couple of things right now it's not a hundred percent there's a one or two minor 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 things I have to do to complete it but you'll see right now what I'm talking about and so let's go over here right now um, I did receive this is a working Super Nintendo from my uh, brother-in-law he had one uh, that he found when I was like mid project on this one and so he gave me this one and I'm not gonna do anything to this one this one works and everything like that it's fine it's got plugs and um, it's got all the plugs and wires and controllers and all that stuff so I'm gonna keep this one but um, real quick we could go over this um, the re uh, reset buttons both work on each one the power button works on each one I haven't wired anything to this one I don't know if I'm gonna do LEDs or fan or something like that but um, it works you know it's, it, it snaps it does what it's supposed to do this also this eject button if you ever have a Super Nintendo and you notice it's like real real soft it's like nothing on the Super Nintendo to push the eject button down uh, I wanted a little bit more tension so I, I adjusted that spring and it, you can see it's a lot more pressure more force and also this only goes down like halfway I want I want to put this one to go down all the way so that it can lift the um, <clears throat> switch dock out of the pins because inside there there's that spring mechanism that uh, it sits into the switch uh, tablet so to fully disengage that is all I wanted just like it does for this uh, Super Nintendo cartridge when you put a Super Nintendo cartridge in there it um, it snaps into place and then you push the eject button and just lifts it enough to disengage it from the uh, pins down there so uh, remove it from the pins so that's all I wanted to do on this side because it's not you would have to put something else in there to give it like full eject travel but yeah so here in the front we're gonna look at this real quick um, 
right here in the front it has the controllers like two port controller deal that the super new super nintendo has and i went ahead and removed uh the larger section to put the usbs and i kept the other section just to fill it in i could have probably put like a dual usb uh per per usb port so like a splitter and i would have like four points there but i felt like that was too much unnecessary work and um so i opted out just to do this and i think it gives it a good look it looks pretty cool to me at least so i like that and i also changed the red led here on the side for a green for the green led i try to splice in pictures of what i what i was able to take of how i did that or whatnot but i just basically spliced a longer wire that went to the circuit board for the dock and so um okay so here the flap <clears throat> you can see here i cut out let me bring it up here i cut out a larger section here and this fits in that makes it bigger so that the dock uh can, or the tablet portion can fit inside the dock here and you can see that the there's cutouts here let me see if i can get any closer <clears throat> you can see the two uh gray forks there and those are to eject the tablet out and the dock it's just a normal nintendo switch dock in there and it's seated and glued and epoxied in place so it's not going to go anywhere and then the flap, I had uh, cut out each side of these and I glued it onto the normal flap here, the original. And so that it all has that function. I've seen other people, I think there's like a NES uh, top loader on f YouTube that has just that whole piece cut out. So it looks like this basically. And I don't like that. I want it to look as original as I possibly could. And so I wanted to try to find a way to bring that. It's not perfect, but I, I'm very happy with the way it came out. So <clears throat> I have it like that. And I think it just makes it look uh, better overall. These are both extremely dirty. I have to do that video that I was talking about in the last build for the NES uh, switch dock and clean these things up because they're all super dirty. But that solution for the chemical is pretty expensive. So I'm kind of like <laughs> kicking the kicking that can down the road, sort of speak. And um, I'll get around to it eventually. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the back here, the ports. This is what I was going to talk about, about um, it's not fully 100% done. These ports in the back are from the original, right? Obviously. So I had taken this piece out of the, of the console and I cut a, a rectangle here to fit all my ports, or right in here, I mean. And you'll see here in a minute. But... Um, I like the way it works, meaning like I'm glad that the strip went from the dock to that circuit board because that's the main problem with these projects is that strip that comes with it is extremely short. So it doesn't reach a lot of things when you try to move it around, you know, when you try to use it and utilize it into these projects, these builds. So I am glad that it reached and it works great but I'm not happy with the uh, job that I did. It's the, the least happy I am with the whole project, but it's okay, you'll see now. Um, I also left this part open, let me just show you. It's easier just to show you. It's easier just to show you, look at, right here. Um, I do have to open this back up. There's a piece that I have to put here to, to bring it down and, and uh, latch it in place, but it's, it's just a little gap right there. But I have a piece I'm gonna push and it's gonna push down on here and make it look like one. But <clears throat> it's dirty, of course, I've been saying that these things need to be cleaned up. But this is a hole here. I don't know if I'm gonna put power supply for a fan in here, but I don't, it doesn't really need it. It's got enough ventilation and, you know, it's it's passively cool, these docks, uh, switch docks. So I really don't think you need it, but I might put like LED or something like that. I don't know. But um, that's there available in the future and I can use the power uh, on and off switch for. Um, but yeah, you'll see here, I have the 3.0, the USB-C, and the HDMI. My cut came out all messed up and wasn't really happy with it. But, you know, you're not going to see it. It's not like a main focus of it. It does look good when you have everything plugged in because you don't see any of that. You know, it just, it looks fine. And uh, I'll put this down and make it look better. But you see that it, it all the ports are there fine. Um, what I did end up doing was <clears throat> on the back of the dock, where this uh, circuit board sits uh, is like a black box. I just merely cut it out uh, with my uh, uh, Dremel and I glued the dock 
black piece to the back of this so now the circuit board sits in there nice and neat and you can take it in and out and utilize it the way you'd like but um or repair it as ever you would like or whatever happened to it but yeah so it's uh i'm kind of oversimplifying the whole build because it did take me a little bit longer than the nes stock um you would think it would i thought it would take even uh it would be easier to do the snes because you don't have to do that up and down mechanism or whatnot but it did take me a bit longer and uh, overall i'm very uh happy with it so here we have the uh nintendo switch dock i mean and then nintendo switch tablet and uh we're gonna put it in here and that's literally it it's already plugged in good to go it's all even and squared up i know this angle is kind of funny but um it is uh straight and it goes in and out cleanly you could do it that way or you could do it like that it lifts it up just enough to disengage it where it's not plugged in anymore and then you can plug it back in so yeah thanks for watching this is all for one see you on the next build or next video